Welcome once again to another edition of Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. This time out I'm going to bring to your attention two great nonfiction books that are very highly recommended. The very first book is The Secret World of Weather. How to Read Signs in Every Cloud, Breeze, Hill, Street, Plant, Animal, and Dewdrop. And this is written by Tristan Gooley and it is published by The Experiment and it retails for $28.95. Weather is something we really take for granted. We get up in the morning, we look out our window and say, oh, it's rainy, it's cloudy, it's sunny. So, uh, but there are ways that we can tell the weather. Uh, actually, we listen to the weather forecasts and think the weather forecasters are always wrong. Well, we can be our own forecaster simply by looking around nature. And this is what the author basically tells us. We just need to look around and we'll get a pretty good glimpse of what the day will be like. Um, Tristan Gooley tells about uh, a gentleman who actually coined the term forecast. His name was Robert Fitzroy and he was a vice admiral in the Royal Navy. Uh, he predicted the weather and he was wrong so many times that he was so upset that he couldn't get it right that eventually he committed suicide because people were so mad at him because he didn't do very good forecasting. So anyways, but the book tells about many, many ways of really telling what type of weather we're going to have by looking at the clouds, the thickness of the clouds, the elevation of the clouds, uh, everything to do with the clouds um, can tell us what the weather's going to be like, whether it's going to rain, we're going to, whether we're going to get a lot of rain, sunshine, or other things. Also, by looking at plants, that tells us um, Nature tells us what the weather is going to be like. For quite some time there's a fallacy that if a cow was laying down it was going to rain. Uh, that is a fallacy. It's not true. There are other ways. Um, birds can tell us um, the weather. By the way they're flying, it's the way the wind blows. So this book has every facet um, of every part of nature that will tell us what the weather is going to be like. So if you think it's going to be sunny, all you have to do is look at certain plants, look at certain trees, the clouds, uh, the stars at night, the moon, the sun, uh, it's a lot. And this book tells it in great detail. So if you're looking for a very interesting book that you can pass along to your children, because your children may be very interested in the weather as well too. And once you read this book, it's written in a very, very down-to-earth style. It's not highly technological. So this is definitely a book that is highly recommended. The second book of note this week is Why We Cook, Women on Food, Identity, and Connection. And this is written by Lisa Gardner, and it is published by Workman, and it retails for $33.95. In this book, you will find the stories from 112 women as to why they got into food, why it is an integral part of their lives. Uh, it's told in detail. Um, it, it's uh, about all um, diversities and all groups of people, why, why they cook, why they like to cook, and uh, it's really fascinating. Uh, there's one interesting story about a lady by the name of Robin Sue Fisher, and she is the founder and CEO of Smitten Ice Cream. Um, her corporate consulting job was taking its toll on her at one point, so she wanted to branch out. So she started to uh, investigate how to manufacture ice cream. And it wasn't very long before she um, teamed with a former um, um, aerospace engineer on how to create the perfect machine to create a different kind of ice cream. And uh, the company is called Smitten. It, it, it now has dozens of stores and it has become a popular brand in the United States. Uh, the book also talks about so many different women, um, why they like to get into food, um, how it inspired them, and uh, there are some recipes as well too. So it covers all angles of, of food and um, it's very well written. The, uh, there are a lot of uh, illustrations, there are no pictures, but they're illustrations and they're all drawn by the author uh, Lindsay Gardner. So it's, it's uh, there, there are just you know, it's just down-to-earth drawings, and it tells you about all all the women from all walks of life, all all social stratas um, of life, and it's very highly recommended. 
So if you're looking for a book with a difference that has a few recipes but also has a lot of information, then Why We Cook is a book that really cooks. So those are the two books this week. I hope you will consider them when you go to your local bookstore. And as always, I thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully you will send me your comments, positive and negative. And as always, as I say, stay social distancing, stay in touch, stay safe, stay sane, and we'll talk again real soon. Bye for now.